Okay, this video is just going to go through that pesky sentence in the first paragraph of his biography, starting with cum, that screwy sentence. Cum nulla re magus ad sumos in re publica, honores viam munire posse intellegret, quam arte decendi et eloquentia, toto animo in eius studium incubuit. Okay, the trick to this is noticing the phrase magus quam. Of course, why would it be in the same place? Magus and quam, which means more than. Um, they're comparing two things here, but you didn't realize that because they didn't say it in a cool way. So, when, in no way, he understood, which of course, being a kissing verb, leads us to an indirect statement. And here is the direct object. Weam, he understood that the road, what road? The road ad sumos honores in re publica. The road to the highest honors in the republic. Really? A prepositional phrase inside a prepositional phrase? I don't even know if that is grammatically possible, but whatever. So we'll try that again. We've got a neowop there. We have a more. And then we have, since he understood that the road to the highest honors in the Republic in no way was able to be built, was able to be built more than, and then we have a gerund, not a gerundo, than by the art, and this is the gerund, which is translated of verbing, by the art of speaking and eloquence, by the art by the art of speaking and by eloquence. So he's saying that since Cicero understood that the only way to get anywhere in life was through speaking and eloquence, what did he do? By the way, that's a cum clause there. What did he do? He incubuit toto animo in eus studium. He applied ze zeal. Hey, isn't that our Holy Cross thing? Zeal for this in his entire mind. Inquo quidum ita versatus est. Oh my goodness, really? Now we are introducing a result clause with ita. He was so into this that not only those guys who in the forum and in the courts were giving their cases, but also privately. He was so excited that he followed the guys who were in the courts and the forum and he practiced privately and very diligently. So hopefully that's enough to get you through the first paragraph. Have at it.